Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're installing a sump pump down in a crawl space with a poured walled foundation. And you can see that high water mark there along the crawl space wall. Water's been coming down into this corner and been flooding. And of course it can't escape. So we need to put a pump down here to lift that water up and through the foundation wall to keep this area dry. Start by digging the hole. Got a couple guys digging there. We're going to dig a pretty good size hole here to put our sump liner in. One guy's digging on the hole. The other guy's actually working on the footer tile. And that's what brings the water over to your sump pump so the pump can lift it out. When you're working, try not to break the shovels. It does happen, but we try to avoid this. Okay, we've got a pretty good hole started here. And we're going to make that a little bit deeper and a little bit wider. Remember that you can see the sump pump set up for this job from the day before. We actually set the pump up and plumbed it the day before, before we brought it down into the crawl space. Put your pit down into the hole. Set your pump down into the pit. Make sure it's in the center. Now we're going to put the lid on. And the lid's just going to be on there temporarily because we're going to be throwing a lot of dirt here. Um, we want to make sure that the area stays clean inside the sump basin. Once the lid's on, we're going to go ahead and clean off that footer a little bit more. We're going to use some of this soil just to help hold our pit in place. Because you can see it kind of wobbles around there in the hole. We want to make sure that it's nice and secure before we backfill. And again, if you get dirt on top of the pit, no big deal. You can lift that lid right off of there and clean it right off. Next, we're going to go outside. And the reason that we're going outside is because we want to make the hole through the foundation wall so we can see where we're going to plumb our riser from the sump pump out. This is done with a hammer drill and a two inch core bit. The two inch hole is perfect for the inch and a half PVC. It's a very nice tight fit. Yeah, this video is speeded up and yeah, you can see it's cold out there. There's snow, but no big deal. And we put our check valve on. Now we're plumbing the riser from the sump pump up through to the foundation wall pipe. You can see we're just gluing this all together. Put a good amount of glue on your fittings, push them tight together, and hold them in place. Once that glue sets up, that's done. Tighten up your no hub. Tightening up the no hub on the check bow, this is the final step before we completely backfill this area. Then we'll go back outside. Outside, you want to plumb through the wall. We've put a T on here with a clean out, and the clean out is so that if it freezes, you can undo that cap and the water can come out. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.